everyone, welcome to my channel. Brad Wardle, Captain Wingnut, call sign, call sign Captain Wingnut. No, call sign's Wingnut, but Captain Wingnut here. Holy smoke. Today, I'm gonna show you how I preserve wood for using wood from the sawmill outside, exterior wood. I don't have a pressure treater, I'll probably build one someday soon. But uh, until then, I want to show you what I do. It kind of goes along with my other video of treating poles that you put in the ground. But uh, this is how you keep them pretty and pristine looking. In fact, most people who show up and see my wood think that it's pressure treated. So we'll be right back. I'm going to get ready and uh, teach you how to do this. Easy, simple, sweet. Before I forget, don't forget to subscribe and click the notify button so that you know when I release new videos. Okay, welcome back. Uh, so this is in conjunction with another video that I've done on uh, preserving fence posts and I'll put the link up above uh, so that you can uh, go see that if you want. That's where I use used motor oil to preserve fence posts. It preserves them for there's some posts that we put in the ground when I was a kid, and uh, you know that's more than 50 years ago. I won't say how old I am, um, and and they're still standing. Posts that we haven't treated have fallen over, and we've replaced them. So let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need a, a container. You're going to need a quart of oil. Now oil is really expensive, and you, you want to have at least 20 weight. 30 weight is probably better. A little heavier. I don't really like multi-grade oil, multi-weight oil, but uh, I got this at a garage sale for $1.75 a quart, so uh, this is what we're using today. So what this does is it, since it's golden clear oil, it keeps the wood golden and clear. So I'm going to put about half of the container in motor oil, then Put the rest of the container diesel fuel I've got a full container of diesel fuel and motor oil. Stir it up gently so it all mixes in. And then we're just gonna go paint it on, slop it on. Let it be thick on here. Now you won't see much of a difference right now because it hasn't soaked in, but once it's soaked in. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when it's treated. It's it's nice and golden. You can see the difference there. Soaks in really good. It's waterproof. Right now I'm using this wood for the, for the two hoop greenhouses that I'm building. So they could get some moisture so I'm just protecting them by putting this on them. And it's going to take, uh, I usually have to let it soak in about 48 hours so that you can handle without having oil all over you. So, I'm just going to continue on here. I'm going to speed the tape up to the end and show you how it looks when we're done. And remember, you're going to want to let it set about 48 hours in the sun and the heat so that it can soak in because it just stays pretty, pretty wet right there on the surface for quite a while. Uh, 
Well, there it is. It's pretty oily. It's a way to treat your wood. And if you can't buy, if you can't afford pressure treated wood, or in my case, if I can't make pressure treated wood, this is how I protect it for exterior use. And it really does a great job. If it rains, gets wet, it just sheds water. It's just really, really nice. Uh, but since I'm using rough cut wood, it's it's beefy. You know, my two by fours are a full two by four. They're not the milled down version. I could mill them down, but I just wherever I can, I just use the rough cut version. So, thank you for watching. Uh, good luck. Uh, you don't have to use used motor oil and make them ugly black. You can just use clear motor oil, and it'll coat them, and they will they will turn beautiful brown. Uh, you're going to have to wait about 48 hours for them to dry up in the sun and soak in and then uh, get to building, putting some things together. Captain Wingnut from Cougar Ridge Ranch, high in the Uinta Mountains of Eastern Utah, bringing you another tip. Thanks for watching.